Bienvenido al GP de México. I mean, the first thing that comes to my mind is straight away the altitude. It's nearly two, at 2,300 meters altitude, the racetrack. Well, as engineers, we look at it in, in millibars, and 25% of the air is missing when you go there. Yeah. So everything is difficult. You know, proper physical exertion, if you try and run around the track, is difficult. And that tells you the engineering problems that, that it's going to bear with it. So we have difficulty with the cooling of the car, the cooling of the brakes, and particularly on the engine side. It's a turbocharged engine, which means you can try and claw the power back that you lose at altitude. Together with that, I mean, you have the highest, second highest top speed of the year after Monza, yeah. when I get 364 kilometers per hour, yeah. and all these heavy braking zones as well. And I remember last year in the race, with the brakes, we were like completely on edge. Unbelievable, yeah. 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 But you, you really managed it well for us. We took a lot of risks. And then, um, I mean, key sector, I would say, is um, probably start finish, you know, start down and then turn one, going yep. through that section there. Yep. It's really crucial lap time wise to start the lap well. Yep. Um, and then to nail that big braking zone into turn one, that was, um, that was probably the key. The podium ceremony is also the best of the year because the podium is on the track in that stadium area. The atmosphere is just insane. I mean, they, they were going nuts. It's an amazing experience. I went and stood in the middle of it all in the, you know, what would have been the track 10 minutes earlier. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Last year I got the sombrero written P1 on it and uh, I'm going to try and repeat that again this year. <laughs>